First at 5.30 tonight, new details from the Target 12 investigators on an unlicensed insurance company accused of selling millions of dollars in bogus policies in several states. An arrest in a toxic dumping scandal sheds new light on when and where this business was operating. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with the details you saw first on WPRI.com. Coventry developer John Govan came to Target 12 uh, about two years ago up. after finding out the contractor he hired to clear his land in Plainfield, Connecticut, used a bond purchased from one of Leo Rush's companies that, in Govan's words, was not was worth the paper it was written on. Contractors are required to buy performance bonds to cover the cost of the project if something goes wrong. Now the co-owner of the company Govan hired has been charged in connection with a Connecticut toxic dumping case. And a warrant to arrest one of the alleged co-conspirators includes several details about Rush-owned companies. According to the document, Govan's contractor, Julian Development, bought a bond from Russia's unlicensed Newport insurance company even after finding out Russia's companies were operating illegally. Russia's Newport insurance was said to be based on Providence's Westminster Street until last year. The Connecticut arrest warrant also points out cease and desist orders were issued to Rush-owned companies in Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Florida all barring him from issuing insurance. But now this document and others allege he kept selling the bonds anyway. That's Walt Buteau reporting. Now, Rush pleaded not guilty last month to 10 federal charges connected to allegedly selling bogus bonds from 2012 to 2019. Now, he has told Target 12 multiple times his bonds are legitimate.